good day folks welcome to my youtube channel we're going to look at the question of the electrolytic uh, cell which is the electrolysis it's a decomposition of copper chloride it says the diagram below represent an apparatus used the electrolysis of concentrated copper chloride a and b are two carbon electrodes connected to power so there is a power there and you have two electrodes a and b but looking at the electrode b it's connected to the positive terminal it's going to be an anode and negative terminal it's going to be the cathode right so the copper chloride there is a chloride ion there and the copper chloride the copper ion there, there are a lot of them there um so we are decomposing that using the electric power right now the question it says which electrode a or b is an anode it's a already answered that it. is the type of electrolytic cell process um, electrolytic process exothermic or endothermic the answer guys will be always endothermic the electrolytic cells are endothermic the galvanic were exothermic so it's opposite of that 9.3 it says write three observation that can be made um during this process what do you see in this process in this process guys as the copper ions um you need to remember from the table when you look at the chlorine and the copper where's the copper the copper there the copper is going to undergo the reduction and oxygen in the chlorine it's gonna go undergo oxidation right so um so uh, once the oxidation takes place the oxidation takes place there that chloride ion is going to oxidize right it's going to oxidize so the oxidation half reaction there it's going to be that chloride ion and gives you the what the chlorine gas plus two electrons so those chloride ions needs to be two you can get it that from the table the reduction for copper the copper will be reduced there which is the cation will go to the cathode so it will be cu two plus plus two electrons and then is reduced to cu which is the solid state there right so the observations here the observations here guys you will see once the copper the chlorine is oxidized there will be gas bubbles there um there will be chlorine gas this chlorine gas there so you will say um gas which is the chlorine chlorine gas is formed at the anode which is electrode what a right and the second one um as the copper is reduced as the copper is reduced there there will be a brownish red deposition of that copper the cu2 plus are reduced so the cu2 plus are reduced to cu so there's a solid you can say is a solid um solid which is its copper um that is formed at the cathode which is cathode is electrode b and lastly lastly what is another thing that is observed today as the copper are reduced the copper ions are reduced to there which is um this solution it was blue guys it was blue because of copper ions the copper ions are blue but the concentration of copper ions here in the solution is decreasing all right so you will say the electrolyte the electrolyte the electrolyte become um the electrolyte intensity which is the color intensity um let's say color intensity the intensity becomes
color uh, uh, become color less because of copper because of copper two plus copper two plus ions are um because of concentration of copper two ions are um uh, are decreasing is decreasing is decreasing right right the last question so those are the last three observations the, it's the color is the solid is the gas write down the the overall net cell the overall net cell guys um you write it by these two by these two so let me write an answer here so it's 9.4 so i'm going to write the reactant it's going to be two chloride ion plus the cu2 plus an arrow which is this and then the product these two they cancel and the product is going to be the chloride gas and the cu right so it says here give one reason why the salt needs to be in the solution um the the, the only answer there is to conduct um electricity it's to conduct electricity or to have free ions that are moving there guys um that's it just